Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, we uh, take a quick look at what we had as the latest build of Windows for 11 for the Dev Channel and the Insider Rings. Also, you guys on the Beta Channel that are on the build 20, uh, 21622 are getting uh, an update, but not 621. And uh, so on Dev Channel, well, the install, of course, went well. It went as usual, took the average uh, one hour time that it takes from the download to the install to the restart that this machine usually has. So it brings me to 25193. Uh, what's notable or what changes is in this new version? Well, the first big change is that if you are a Xbox subscription uh, person like I am, for example, I have my Xbox Game Pass. Um, you might see it, not everybody does, but apparently it's rolling out within the next days and weeks. If you go into your settings and go into your accounts where you already see your subscription for Microsoft 365, for example, you will have the Xbox subscription possibly appearing here too. So some of you might see this new um, Xbox subscription manage uh, panel here. So you'll be able to manage within Windows rather than manage at um, you know on the website. So this is one of the changes that's uh, here. Uh, if you're a um, user of Braille displays, uh, the uh, narrator. Um, well, actually, the uh, new Braille displays and new Braille input and output languages are available in Narrator. So these are available. And, um, of course, you got to um, install the new Narrator Braille support for that to happen. And they've done a little change because they used you used to uh, be able to share a local file directly to OneDrive. And they've disabled this uh, following some feedback, apparently. But they want to bring it back at a later stage. For the rest, bug fixes, bug fixes, and more bug fixes. Uh, so that's pretty much it on this new version of the Dev Channel built. That, uh, yep, like a lot of us are saying, a little boring in the past... Uh, in the past, um, you know, year uh, in, in, or two, because not much is happening. So that's what I have to say. It's pretty stable. Um, had no issues, no blue screens, no freezes. I've done a lot of things with this uh, new version, and uh, uh, this is one of my main drivers for the PC, and works great. I uh, have nothing wrong. But remember, dev channel builds are the ones where you could have the most problems. So if you have an issue, it's not impossible. Uh, wait for the next build. Um, it might actually be fixed within the next build or a few builds. And uh, if all hell uh, goes, you know, if everything fails, basically, if uh, you have problems that are beyond fixable, you can always go and get uh, the image and reinstall the uh, latest Insider build available from their download page. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.